Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a counter for retaining wall. This is the counter for retaining wall. We have already done the cantilever retaining wall. Now we are going to design the counter for retaining wall. These are the members that we have to design the stem, toe slab, heel slab is there, and finally the counter for we have to design. Different steps are there. This Excel sheet is used for designing of all the parts with the analysis and design will be there, right? So these are the steps. Step one, we will determine the depth of the foundation. Next is the find the initial sizes by this sheet. Next is the calculate the forces and movement will be calculated by this sheet. Step four is the calculation of earth pressure. Next we have to check. Some checks are there. The check for stability and against overturning. It will automatically check the stability check. Soil pressure check will be there. Next is the stability against the sliding. If it fails in sliding, we have to provide the design shear key. We have already done these th things in the cantilever retaining wall, right? So next is the toe slab. Toe slab we have to design against the pressure diagram and net pressure calculation. Next is the design of the heel slab. This is the heel slab in the counter for retaining wall. And next is the part for the vertical stem will be designed by step 11. Finally, the design of stem for the cantilever action will be there. This will give the detailing of the stem, toe and heel slab. And finally, the step 13 is the design of the counter four. You have to put your data in these pink cells only, right? So step 14 is the shear reinforcement connection between the counter four and the step slab. Check for the tension, step 15. And this is the counter four we are going to design, right? Design for the vertical ties, heel slab and counter four. It will, will give you the the enforcement detail the thickness of the counter fort and this is the plan plan which is showing the toe slab this is the heel slab the reinforcement detail will be there right so let's start you have to put your data in these cells only it this sheet will give you automatically the design accurately right so we have a condition that design a counter fort type retaining wall is required to retain a earth of 6.8 meter the earth above the ground level right so 6.8 is the height gamma s is the unit weight of the soil is 18 in this case 18 kilonewton per meter cube internal angle of friction is 30 degree QA, qa is the spc soil bearing capacity 170 coefficient this is 0 0.06 0 0.06 is the coefficient fck value is m25 and fy is 415 right so after giving all these input data we can see that the determine the depth of the foundation given by this formula qa upon gamma is 1 minus sin phi upon 1 plus sin phi phi is 30 degree and qa is 170 and gamma is 18 so it has been calculated by this formula right so this is 1.05 if we take 1.20 as depth below the foundation then overall height of the this vertical stem plus this depth gives out to be 8 meter and this is below the ground level is 1.2 that is 1200 mm right so next is the we have to find the initial sizes by step 2 first spacing between the counter fort is given by this formula 0.8 under root h 2.1.2 under root h h is overall height right so this comes out to be this much 2.26 and 3.39 the spacing between these counter fort so if we assume 3 meter, so 3 meter is the spacing. Next, the thickness of counter fold by given this formula, it has been calculated. Thickness of the base slab 2 into L into H is this is in centimeter, it is 48 centimeter, and in mm 480. 480 is the depth of the this base slab. Width of the footing has been calculated 4.80 to 5.60. So this is width of the footing. If we assume 5 meter. So width of the footing is calculated toe projection b by 4 this is b this is b by 4 is 1250 calculated vertical stem thickness h by 40 200 mm this is vertical stem thickness and height of the stem that is h dash so you have to deduct 8 meter by this base slab thickness it comes out to be 7520 and finally the heel this length of the heel is given by this minus toe width and the stem width right so it has all initial size has been calculated 
this sheet has already calculated the forces the moment acting on the wall this w1 will be there w2 this in the base lab and w3 this is the back soil this will create the moment and the forces for the stem this is force into unit area right so this force how it will calculate it that's this area into the density of the concrete multiply by if you are going to find the moment about this toe the distance from toe is 1.35 this is 1.25 and half of this this will act at the cg so 1.35 and finally the moment will come out 50.70 same for the w2 that is for footing right so the this area like this this area 480 by 5000 mm into density of the concrete multiply distance this is at the cg this is 1.25 this 5000 divided by 2 right 2.5 so finally the overall summation of the w is calculated summation of m is calculated calculate the earth pressure k is been calculated by this formula kp is calculated active earth pressure and passive earth pressure right okay next is the force due to the active earth pressure by this formula pa k gamma s h square by 2 192 this is pa is been calculated it will be acted at on the stem 192 kilo newton check for the stability against overturning it is safe against overturning how it will be calculated by this formula 0.9 into stabilizing moment that is mr divided by mo overturning moment should be greater than 1.4 if it is greater than 1.4 then it is safe overturning moment is m0 is pa into h by 3 pa has been calculated 192 into h by 3 this is h this is h by 3 right so 8 by 3 so 512 is the mo stabilizing moment this is the stabilizing moment this is not about toe right this is this will be in anti clockwise direction and stabilizing moment will be in clockwise direction so mr upon m0 it gives you 3.08 it is greater than 1.4 hence it is safe against overturning it will not overturn right next is the quick calculate the soil pressures step 6 below the footing e eccentricity should be less than b by 6 first this thing should be satisfied so e is given by b by 2 b is the width right by 2 summation of m minus m0 m0 is overturning moment right divide by summation of w it has already been calculated right so this is okay and q max is the total pressure total pressure of the soil q max this is the backfill soil will create the pressure right so this is comes out to be by this formula 165 and soil bearing capacity is 170 that is the soil pressure soil bearing capacity is more than the pressure from the above backfill right so it is safe q minimum is by this formula submission w upon b 1 minus 6 e by b this is 65.98 so q max and q minimum is been calculated right it will be used in later check for stability against sliding so next check is stability against sliding factor of safety against sliding is this given by resistance force f on sliding force pa right so resisting force is mu mu is we have already that is the coefficient of friction is 0.6 right so mu into summation of w that is the weight we have already calculated 578 so this comes out to be 346 kilo newton and sliding force pa we have already calculated pa so this sliding force pa will be acted in this direction and the resisting force will act in opposite direction so this is the formula this is 1.63 is greater than 1.4 and hence it is safe against sliding and no shear key is required so shear key in this case is not required right so we will not provide the shear key if this is changed if this is less than this much then we have to give the dimensions of shear key and it will be safe against the sliding right so shear key is to be provided only when this is not safe against the sliding so in our case this is safe in sliding okay so in the next part we will design the design of toe slab we will explain in detail design of toe slab by this pressure diagrams we will give the design of the heel slab heel slab will be designed by this design of the vertical stem will be there
right so it will give the stem heel and toe slab detailing and design of the contour fold will be done in the next part that is part 2 i will explain in detail check for the tension and this whole detailing will be for the counter for training wall will be given and this is plan will be which will show the reinforcement detail of the stem right so friends if you like this video if you want this excel sheet please whatsapp me or mail me on my mail id and subscribe this channel for more design videos thanks for watching